G'day guys, it's Tim Guest here, Australia's leading financial educator and founder of Infinite Wealth. Firstly, welcome along to the video. We'd love for you guys to interact with the video, so we'd love to see comments, questions, likes, love, all that kind of stuff. And of course, the only thing that uh, um, we uh, we ask is if you find the value, the video valuable, please share share it with your friends and family. So, you know, once again, whether it's the first time that you're joining us or whether you're a long time follower or client, really welcome to the video. Today, what we're here to talk about is the movie Love Actually, okay? Now, remember the movie, okay? Remember the song, wet, 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 you know, uh, Christmas is all around me or love is all around me. Please don't expect me to break out into a song because for both of our uh, benefits, that's not gonna be a good idea. But in that movie, we heard in the song that the love is all around me, come on and let it grow. What I'm here to tell you today, and as we're dealing with step four of the boot camp for your bank account, is that money is all around you. Okay, and oh. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, all you really need to do is be able to, and then get it working for you. So let's talk about it exactly what I mean. Now you'll notice I have up on, this, on the board here today, I have Love Actually and eBay and Gumtree equal dollar, dollar, dollars. So what do I mean? So one of the things, and look, if we just recap, I guess, the, the, the previous steps. Firstly, we're talking about having a pay yourself first structure. Secondly, we're talking about using the app Acorns to assist you guys in saving your spare change, rounding up, saving you know, saving money from basically every purchase that you make. We're also talking about Pocketbook, the app which allows you to track your spending and find out where you can make the smallest amount of change to affect the, the biggest amount of di difference in your budgetary position, right? So um, today what I'm here to talk about is eBay and Gumtree, okay? Now the simple fact of the matter is every single one of us has thousands and thousands of dollars of crap sitting around our house that we simply don't use. Let me give you a perfect example. A couple of years ago, got really inspired about uh, maybe getting on a bike and going for a ride. Went out, bought myself a bike, okay? Only ever rode it twice, never touched it ever since. So that's something that I've got sitting in my home that I could quite easily put on something like eBay or Gumtree and sell it and then be able to use that money and get it working for you. Now to give you a bit of an idea, most of our households have an average of about $5,000 worth of crap sitting in their house that they don't use. Now $5,000, if we convert that into what you might do or how many hours that you might work to typically generate $5,000, you're probably talking maybe two to three weeks of working 40, 50 hours a week, right? Yet most of us would not kind of invest that same kind of time investment into actually rounding up the crap that we have and putting it on eBay, putting it on Gumtree and selling it. Okay, most importantly, this is really lazy money. This is money that you've got sitting in your life, sitting in your situation, that you can, could have sitting in something like Acorns, that you could have sitting in something like even your superannuation, or even a worst case scenario, you could have sitting in you know a, a high interest bank account, okay? There is thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars sitting around you right now, or maybe, you know, maybe you're at work right now, maybe, so let's not worry about the thousands of dollars sitting around you right now. I'm talking more about at home, right? But you guys could be able to stick that on eBay, stick it on Gumtree, sell that, uh, sell that stuff, and then put that money to good use. Now, I know sometimes, People can be a little hesitant about using, particularly services like Gumtree, you know, worried about friends and stuff like that, or people coming around to their house and all that kind of stuff. Look guys, if, you've ever, if you haven't done it, it's pretty easy to manage. Yeah, you're probably gonna deal with some, you know, weirdos, maybe you're gonna deal with some people out there offering you stupid amounts, but just keep in mind the end goal. This $5,000, right? You put that into an investment account, compounded over 20, 30 years, you're talking 100 plus grand, all right? So it is well and truly worth it. Now, even eBay, I, I haven't gone and done a lot of research into this myself, but one of the things that I have been told is there are actually people out there that will sell stuff on your behalf on eBay for you and just take a small commission, okay? So this is something that you might wanna take advantage, something that if you don't wanna do it yourself, you might wanna look into. But really, all that crap you got sitting around your house, you could put it on eBay, put it on Gumtree, pocket that cash and put it to much better use. Okay, keep in mind guys, reaching your financial goals, okay, whether they be something that's, you know, whether it's home ownership, whether it's travel and lifestyle, whether it's early retirement, it doesn't actually take anything that massive, okay? It just involves you taking some small steps, things that are easy to understand, easy to implement, and actually having the money that you got around you working for you. Okay, rather than doing it what most people do, which is 50% of Australians spend every single cent they earn. Okay, if you're gonna live that kind of life, we all know where you're gonna end up financially. You wanna do something different. Okay, you take same actions that everyone else takes, you're gonna end up in the same place, and it's not something good, okay? Less than one in 10 people will fund their own retirement. 
all right? You want to be that one in 10, which means you got to not take the kind of actions or not do the same kind of things that the other nine do, okay? So get out there, take advantage of the stuff that you've got lying around you, get it on eBay, get it on Gumtree, pocket that cash, and then put it into some investments so that you can reach your goals. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I've got for you. Please stay tuned for next week. We've got step number five, okay? We're going to keep ramping this up. We're going to keep showing you really easy to implement steps, structures, and apps that you can use to completely transform your financial situation. All you gotta do is stay tuned. All you gotta do, follow the 12 steps. Man, life is gonna be so much different. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Look forward to chatting to you next week. Have a great day.